Hello and welcome to my Sims 4 tower build project. I'm Rubriel and I've been playing the Sims 4 games for a frighteningly long time but I've never made a video of it before so I'm very much learning as I go here. I'm positioned out in uh, Windenburg currently and this is uh, one of the last houses I built so a uh, very rural setting for this one. And like all my houses, or nearly all my houses, it is based on a real dwelling. So what I like to do when I build things is I find some random images somewhere on the internet or sometimes I browse Google Maps and just go along the street view until I find a house that inspires me. And then I try to build something in The Sims 4 that resembles it as closely as possible. Sometimes with a bit of creative license I'll tweak a few things and decide that to me anyway it looks better than the original. But this is the last one I built and I, I really, really liked this one. So I'll have a quick look around. I love to do landscaping, so anything I build is always going to have a lot of trees and plants and stuff. So today, though, I'm going to be doing something quite different. I am going to be building a tower. This is a, an old-looking stone tower I'm going to be doing. Um, it will be lived in, though, so old but functional. It may, maybe like one of those converted old buildings that you see on TV sometimes. That's what I'm going for. And of course with a big um, garden component as well because gotta have the landscaping. First of all I need to show you what my inspiration is. So um, these again these are just random images. I'm really ignorant. I have no idea what buildings they actually are. Obviously they're buildings in real life but I don't know where they are or what they're called. So apologies for that. I'm really just looking at the aesthetics of them and using them as a basis for my build. Okay, so I'm working from five different images. This is the first one. I like that this tower has three different levels, but it's not quite as tall as I was hoping to build. This one is much, much higher, so I'd like to try and replicate the height of this one, though the roundness of it can be challenging. It usually ends up being more of a hexagon. And then this one I like because it's got more windows, and just for playability, you've got to have some windows in there. And what I was thinking I might do is I've got this um, picture of the cabin, so that's going to be the dwelling that they actually live in most of the time, the functional part. And it's got those two chimneys at either end, but what I was thinking I might do, just to expand it a little bit, is to put this tower, um, see how it's got that kind of square base, and stick that on the end of this building where one of the chimneys is, just to make it a little bit bigger, and then have the big tall tower at the other end of the property where they can go up and view and stuff. And then this image is the inspiration for the garden. So I'm thinking of doing a big um, sculptured sort of oval garden in the centre of the property with a path going around and then a wishing well in the centre. So let's get started. I am in Willow Creek and the lot I have chosen is this lot way out the back here. Going to start with the tower part, because I think that's the coolest bit really. So, hmm. let's have a deck that's roughly round-ish, kind of, not really. <laughs> and on a massive foundation. Yes, I see the beginnings of something here. And now we'll just go straight up. Actually, it's probably an easier way of doing this. I could just put this on top. Oh, that's almost starting to look like that one. Sort of. Anyway. How many floors can I have here, I wonder? So I'd like to then do another one up here and then have a roof on it, but I don't know that it will let me do that. Oh, it does, it does. <laughs>
Okay, so that's as far up as it will let me go. Can I have a... It will let me put a roof though, so that's pretty cool. I can work with that. I don't really like that roof particularly, but... So let's just see in our fences whether there is something that kind of resembles the battlements on the top of the tower. That maybe. Hmm. That is potential. I might just put that around there for now and then I can change it later if I come across something better. And yes, it is a bit narrow. I don't know if anybody will actually be able to walk up there or even how they get up there really because it's too small to have stairs. But minor detail that I will figure out later. figure out something to put in the middle. I wish you could still do those round turret roofs that you used to have in The Sims 2. They were awesome for this kind of thing, but can't get round ones anymore, so I'll have to figure out something else to put there. How big is the staircase? Answer? Quite large. So, if we want people to actually be able to use this it will need to be somewhat bigger. Okay, so progress so far. As you can see, I now have um, as many stories as I can possibly get on this tower, and I have put my staircase around the outside. It's, there were, it's not in my current inspiration pictures, but some of the other ones I looked at did actually have stairs around there, so I don't feel too bad about doing that. So when I looked inside, there was just no way of getting them in, so I don't know, I'm not 100% happy with it, but I think once it gets all the textures and everything matching, it will look a whole lot better. So now I'm experimenting with um, some different things to put on top of the tower um, to give it a bit of, I don't know, make it a bit unique, I guess. So remember back here we had the statue of the man on top. Um, this one doesn't appear to have anything. And that one's got the smaller turret and the flag on it. So I wanted to put something up there. So here's what we've got so far. We've got this funny metal thing, which is okay. It's a bit industrial looking, maybe a bit too futuristic for what I want. I don't know. That's a possibility. Or we can use this giant chess piece. Can't quite get that exactly in the middle. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. So that one's quite possibly my favourite so far. I think that's the most natural looking of all of them. It looks like it's actually part of a building as opposed to something that's not part of a building at all. So that's an option. Then we have this one, which... I don't know that there's any way I could position that out there that wouldn't make it look like a giant vase on top of a building. So I think we'll you know, dispense with that. This one is actually a roof piece and it gives a very impressive height to our tower. Only thing is, when I start painting everything else, I wonder whether the textures will actually match properly. And if they don't, that will bug me like crazy. I cannot stand things that don't match. So that one, as cool as it is, it might not make it. And then this one. <laughs> this is really cool. It's actually a giant paper towel dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> when you put it on top of a building, it doesn't so much look like that at first glance. I mean, if you just saw that, not knowing what it is, would you think that it was a paper towel dispenser? <laughs> Maybe you would. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it's it's an option. It's It kind of works up there. <laughs> so, I haven't decided on that yet, and you may find that I switch them out regularly throughout this process until I decide which one I like best. For now, I'm going to keep this one up there, though. <laughs> Sorry, paper towel dispenser, you're, you're not it for today. We'll just... I think I'll delete that one. I don't like it. Don't like that one either. <laughs> okay, narrowed it down to three. So, um, next up I need to figure out how people are actually going to get into this building, because it's got no door at the bottom at the moment. I need some staircases going up, um, some few, a few 
tasteful windows and then I will need to paint it. So I'm going to go and figure that out and I'll be back. Playing around with my entranceway here, trying to get something decent to go down the stairs since there's absolutely no stair railings that look anything like what I want. And I had this bright idea about using half walls, but for some reason it's put these funny little wooden blobs on either side, <laughs> which is not quite what I was going for. I wish you could just not have any wall there and just have the piece of foundation sticking out, because that would look exactly right. Oh, I don't know how to do that. And then if I just take that off there, and that off there, Yes! There we go, that's exactly what the start menu is. Um, Try again. That is exactly what I was trying to do. Okay. One entrance way. <sighs> Having some issues with windows here. This one would be exactly what I want if it, the point of it didn't have to be blue. Or... <sighs> mushroomy purple, or... Well, I guess that's kind of alright, but... Still, whoa. <laughs> this is, I guess I could use that in a pinch. My, my issue is that a lot of the other windows are... That would work, but it's kind of too big. So when you look at my inspirational pictures, the windows are really, really narrow. I guess historically windows and towers weren't really meant for admiring the view. They were there so that guards could shoot arrows out of them, but nobody was actually supposed to be able to see in, really. And, you know, seeing out was, you, you just sort of peeped or <laughs> peeped out through your window and then hid again. So, it's hard to find windows that narrow in here. These ones may have to do, although I think they would look better on the cabin than they do on the tower. I should mention at this point, as you're looking at my um, catalogue here and all these spanners, that I use a lot of custom content. Um, I really, really like the stuff on The Sims Resource. There's some amazing artists on there. I've collected heaps and heaps of their stuff um, over my time playing. Um, I just find it so much more realistic when I'm building, so I do make use of it, and I will try to give credit wherever possible. I have found the perfect window this one. It's actually a prison window from um, the de Detective Career, but it's exactly the right size and shape for what I want. So I've gone crazy with them and <laughs> put them everywhere. I've um, done this sort of zigzag pattern, which I don't know, just seemed right at the time. And so now I have all my windows, and I put a door there as well, so you can actually get out to the top. I guess I should really have one up here as well, so that you can get into the top part of it. So, let's put it here. I th oh, what's, what's it doing to that window? Oh no, it's alright. No, it's not. No, oh, probably because I use move objects to get that up there. Hmm. Fine, I'll delete it then. <laughs> oh well. What's well, one less window at the end of the day? Okay, now I need to find some paint. Okay, this is starting to look a lot better now. So, as you can see, we're all um, nicely bricked up. And sadly, I deleted my roof toppers because I decided that, that as cool as they were, it looked far more realistic with, well, you know, a roof in there <laughs> instead of a giant chess piece or whatever those other things were. I think it's time to look back at um, the design of our cabin and start putting that together. So where was it? Let me see. So it'll only be a small structure, but I may actually put a basement in it. Um, especially as it's going to have a huge foundation, just like that one. You can't have a foundation there and not here. So um, it will be two levels in that regard. But it will look small from the surface, which is what's important. All good things start with a basic box. So, Turn my grid lines off by accident, have I? No, I haven't. Don't know what's going on here. Oh, wait, I know why. It's because I'm up really, really high. That's better. Okay. Um, this is a bit too big. Find me a little box. Very little box. 
and it has to be in the middle because if things are not in the middle they drive me crazy. So we'll just make it, is that one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Honey nine, okay. So I either have to go one bigger this way. And it needs to be a little bit wider. So I've got to make sure there's plenty of room for the garden in between. Mm. Yeah, it should be okay to go like six wide. Gabled roof. Is that what they call it? Yeah, gabled. Facing that direction. I'm going to slap it on top. And what's the height like on that one? It's actually fairly steep. And then there's the whole chimney thing. Uh, that looks like the right kind of chimney. <laughs> Except it's really small. <gasps> so... Be a bit careful doing this, it can get really out of control sometimes, but... That's... Apart from the fact it's not in the middle, that's actually almost what I need. I'm going to do that. Does that have a big thing inside? No, no, no I guess that's alright. Maybe. Actually, I know how to do it. I need to put... No, I don't. What I'm actually trying to do is put a room here. That's not really a room, it's just going to be a chimney. Kind of like that. And then I can put something like I had before on there. Maybe like. Kind of like that, only not that colour. Mm. <laughs> Use that one there. Or, again, I could cheat and just do And put that. Oops. There. <laughs> it looks like a church now. No. <laughs> Just no. 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 Yes. No. No. Scrap that idea. Oops. I mean. I mean, delete. Thanks. Now the question is, should I leave it like that or should I do what I was thinking about earlier and kind of put that tower attached to one side of it? I think actually if I add that extra bit on it's going to be way too huge. So I might just do this down the other end, exactly like they show in the picture, um, and make it symmetrical. And then we'll paint everything the same way as the tower. Why would it let me do that? Oh, my dropper, idiot. Okay, yeah, those squares are really going to bother me. Mm. 
ones go wider there? Whoa! <laughs> Makes it really pointy when I do that. Kind of like that, I think. Okay. Oh, and this is the part where I have to try and get in the same height. It's probably a cheat's way of doing that, but I don't know what it is. So I just have to eyeball it and hope for the best. About the same? I think so, apart from the thingy sticking out. I hate those big tails that it puts on everything. And we'll make them go right through to the other side. Same here. Right through. Okay, and we'll add our texture again should really do that to them as well. And I think I'll put the little windows up there. The same ones I used on the tower. Mm, if it lets me put them there. I have to... Mm. No, it doesn't want to go in there! <laughs> okay. Actually, what I need is one that goes... Ah, yeah, that's the kind of window I need. So as you can see, this is a custom content window made by Mutsky at um, TSR. Um, I'm using this one because it's, um, although it's only a single width window, it's um, taking up two squares and thus it fits nicely in the middle of my little dormers here. Okay, we are making great progress here. As you can see, I now have an entranceway and a back door. And I've started my landscaping, so I just couldn't hold off any longer. No, the main reason for all this grass um, is firstly to create that slightly overgrown look, such as we have in the picture here. Um, but also, most importantly, it kind of hides the foundation, because I don't want it to look like it's perched way up high. So by having all this grass, it makes it look like it's closer to ground level, even though it's not. And I've done some little tweaks here around my... Um, chimneys. All I did actually was add the, um, oops, the texture missing there, add the shortest half wall to it and now suddenly it looks a whole lot better because I don't have that rough edge anymore. So I am quite happy with that. So now we've got both dwellings on here. I'm just looking, are they lined up properly? Because if they're not I'll be really annoyed. <laughs> uh, No. <laughs> um, maybe I can move the whole house thing. Let's move this one. I just need to move it a little bit. Yeah, see, look, it's not in the middle. Just move it a tiny bit over. Okay. Actually, the way to tell is just to draw dirt between the two staircases and if they match yes there we go now it's nicely in the middle okay I'm happy now <laughs> so let's add a basement I think that's right because I remember making it seven squares wide and it was nine squares from each end so I think it's a bit short actually I think it needs to be like that that looks right we'll go with that and then the staircase going up is always a tricky one. Here, actually. Because I won't have windows on that side. I have decided I will not have windows on that side. Only on this side. That's all for this episode. Be sure to join me in part two where I will create a garden and start decorating the inside.